So what you're going to want to do first is, in a large mixing... Uh, Hey guys, so today's video we are clearly somewhere a little bit different, so sorry if it sounds a little weird. Today I am in my kitchen because we are going to be making treats for your pet rodents. These treats are also not excessively sugary or have a lot of bad stuff in them like most um, pet store treats. You can give these, I want to say about one to three times a week for your pet rodent. And these can be used and fed to your pet hamsters, mice, and gerbils. Like I said, you're only going to need a limited amount of ingredients for this recipe and that will include a cup of Rice Krispie cereal, a quarter cup of peanut butter, one tablespoon of quinoa, three tablespoons of flax seeds, and one teaspoon of honey. Now, like I was saying, there's some optional ingredients. Depending on how thick you want your batter to be can depend if you want to add a little bit of water or not. What I did was I added two crushed up Missouri lab blocks for rat and mice into the mix for some added supplementation and protein. Okay, so the first step for making these treats is in a mixing bowl, you want to add your Rice Krispie cereal and also I forgot to mention, but make sure that this is unsweetened and what we're going to do is crush it in the bowl so that it can become a floury consistency and then what we're going to do is finish adding all of our dry ingredients so we're going to then add the quinoa, the flax seeds, and the lab lots if you decided to add them remember that those are optional and then we're going to mix this well so now what we're going to do is add our wet ingredients and first thing we're going to add is our peanut butter Sometimes it is easier to soften the peanut butter for about 30 seconds or less in the microwave before so that you can get more of a watery consistency. And then we're going to add our honey blast. Once all of our wet ingredients are in the bowl, we are going to now mix this well. And when this is done being mixed, this is what's going to let us know if we need to add water or not. I did add a little bit of water to mine just because it was really tough and battery but you do still want it as more of a dough consistency consistency rather than a cake like consistency. Now once we have our dough we are going to just roll it up into little balls or any really any shape that you um, want and put it on a lined baking sheet lined with parchment paper and now we're going to bake these in an oven on 350 or 300 depending on it doesn't really matter for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. It is a quite large range, but this just depends on how strong your oven is. All you want to really make sure is that the outside is hard or it looks cooked. And that is it guys. You take your treats out and make sure you let them cool for at least 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure that they are entirely chilled out before you give them to your rodent. That was it. They are very, very simple to make and I hope you guys enjoyed making this and that maybe you guys give it a try. If you do try it out, make sure you share your images, the, the, images, the, the, images, the, the. I really can't talk today. <laughs> if you do try it out, make sure you share your images with me on Twitter and Instagram and just tagging me in it. My ads for those social medias are just at Curtis Hussain. Very, very simple if you guys do want to follow me on there. And if you did enjoy this video, you can share this video with your friends and give this video a like so that more people can find this video and try these treats out. If you guys have any video suggestions, just let me know down below in the comments and I'll make sure I get to them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.